So as promised, I'm going to go in and show you the inside of Rogue Contact and how it works, okay? So everything works around the campaigns. I want to recommend that you go in and you actually look at the trainings and you just go through the trainings, okay? Um, but everything works around the campaign, so I'm just going to jump in and show you a campaign. Here's a campaign that was ran in Lakeland, Florida with the keyword Realtor. So in this campaign, essentially what we're doing is we're going to Google, we're searching all the businesses, all the real estate, any business listed with Google that has the keyword Realtor that is in uh, the location Lakeland, Florida. So that's where we get all this data from. We go in and find all, all these. Essentially what we get from there is we get these three pieces, these four pieces of data right here. So we get all those and then essentially what we do is we go to all these websites and we identify if they have a contact us form. If they do, we pre-populate it with information from one of our profiles and we pre-populate the message that goes there with a message that we have saved right here in the system. And then we also scrape their website to see if they have an email address. And if they do, then we're gonna send them an email. So all of that we can control and I'll show you that uh, as you'll see. So. Here's a good one right here, as you can see. Here is uh, Olive Branch Realty, Realty, and you can see that we have their name, their address, their website, their phone number, an email address that we got right from their website. We can see that we were able to submit their contact us form, and we can also see that we were able to send an email out to them. There's 134 records, we sent out 89. 11 failed, four had a CAPTCHA, three had no form. If we wanna find the ones with the CAPTCHA, and go solve that. You can see it opens right up to their contact us form, uh, and it's actually showing the page not found. So, so that's essentially a, that's essentially a campaign. So let's go through the parts of it again. So all the parts involved with the campaign are your are your profiles. Okay, you can create more than one profile. You can create profile groups if you want. So you can create different profile groups, and you can create different profiles. So. Um, once you create a profile, essentially, what's there in a profile? Where you're just going to give us a person's name. This could be your name. It could be your sales name. Their company, email, phone number, zip code, state, website, can spam address, email signature. All that's um, uh, in a profile. Okay? Then you're also going to give us contact us messages. All right? These are the messages that we're going to submit on the contact us forms of the website. So when we find a contact us form on a website, we're gonna see what fields is it asking. And if it's asking for a name, company, we're gonna pull that from the profile. And the message thing, we're gonna pull from this message right here. And we're gonna submit that automatically on your behalf. We also have email messages that we can create. These are the messages that will go out via email. So we can create these email messages really easy. And create a whole sequence of messages. This particular one has an initial message and then it has another message that will go out three days after this first message. Okay, so we can go in and actually create those different message groups. We can add we can add more messages, we can add more, uh, add more message groups if we want. And we can view the emails that we have for any group. All right, so those things all essentially are now what's going to make up your, your campaign. So now we're just gonna run a campaign live. And let's do a test campaign. And we're gonna look Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. And we're gonna look for a car dealership. And we're going to use this message, email message group. We're going to use this contact message group. We're going to use this profile group. So I want to send email and fill out the contact us form both. If I wanted to, I could send the email only when the contact us form is not submitted. I could send the email only and not fill out the contact us form. We also have a Zapier integration where you can choose that the people from this campaign, you can essentially pass to Zapier. So every time we're able to either email somebody or submit their contact us form, you can send all the associated information right out to Zapier and then import them right into your own CRM or um, a quick plug.
you can use our amazing CRM that allows you to do automated calls, text messages, and a whole bunch of other stuff. You can pipe them um, right in there just from Zapier. And you can also decide you want to run this immediately after the search. So uh, you can do that. You can not run it. That way you can go in and run a bunch of campaigns and then later on come in and process them whenever you want. That way if, it's, if you're doing this in the middle of the night and you don't want to email in the middle of the night, you can do your searches in the middle of the night. And then when you wake up in the in the morning at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, you can go in and actually process them and start contacting people. So I'm just going to go in and run my search and let that search happen. And you'll see it's going to take just a little, uh, a little second to run that search. And just like that, that search is over. And we just found 117 records. So you can see we got Volvo cars, Enterprise cars, Austin Auto Brokers, Motor Sales, Chrysler, Honda, we can see their websites if we want. Now essentially we can go in and select all these guys. And we can export them if we want to, if we just want to save the data and do something else with it, we can export it. Or we can go ahead and process these guys and that will start the process. It will go out to every one of these websites. It will go out to their websites. It will look to see, hey, can I find a contact us form on this website? Yeah, now I found it. It will grab from your profile and it will put in your first name, last name. It will put in an email. It will put in your phone number. It will put in your contact us form message and it will automatically submit this for you. And then it will also go in and look to see, hey, can I find any email address on this website at all? Is there any email address? He's gonna be looking around, hey, can I find an email address? And if he finds an email address, even if it's not visible, even if it's invisible, he's going to bring it back to you. And he's going to keep doing that one by one. He's going to go out, find their contact us form, submit it. Scrape their website for an email, give it back to you, send out an email if you want. So let's just go ahead and process this guy. And let the magic begin. So now he's going to actually go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my campaign logs. And I can see he's already submitted one form. You see that? He's already submitted one form. Campaign's still processing here. And he's going to take some time to go in and actually process everything. And let me see. I can see he already submitted this form on Volvo Cars of Austin. Now if I wait some time, he'll keep processing, he'll keep processing. I can see how this guy did, got 74 emails went out, 43 forms submitted, 17 forms, 30 emails. So that's what this software does. Now you can see all your contacts once you actually contact them. If they're subscribed to a message sequence, you can go in and actually unsubscribe them if they ask you to. So you can see all your contacts that you've actually got in the system, go in and search them out, go in and see their information. You can see what happened. You can go in and test your own sites or test other sites if you want. And you can even add users. You can even add other users if you want. You can create other users and give them access where they can go in and do it on their own. So you can create a user account for your client if you want and let your client go in and do this. Or you can create a user account for your salespeople if you want and let them go in. And you notice they have their own spot to put in their own profiles, they have their own spot for their own email messages, they have their own spot for their own, own contact us messages, they have their own campaigns. The only thing that they share with you is they share your total submissions that you get. Every time they get a submission, you lose a submission and they can't add their own users, okay? So that is the main difference between your sub user and yourself so you can see this campaign is going now if I were to actually bring up my email I should be able to look in my sent email and I should be able to see if I go to the right email I think this email right here
I should be able to see that this just went out just a little bit ago. SteveChapmanMotors.com. That went out to SteveChapmanMotors.com. And if I come to my campaign logs here, let's just come here and let's just stop this campaign. And then I'm going to go in and show you why we were sitting here that these guys just went out. This is Pat Booker. You can see those went out. Pretty sure one of these have to be Pat Booker right here. Oh, let's see whose email we got. We got these emails right here. And one of those is Pat Booker at Steve Chapman Motors. Steve Chapman Motor Sales. And I can see I sent it to Pat Booker. I can also see that it went here to Steve Chapman. And I can also see that it went out here to all three of those salespeople at Steve Chapman. So that's what it does. Now you understand RoboContact and exactly what it does. It automates your complete prospecting and cold outreach for you so that you can set my ties while this guy generates inbound leads for you. See you on the inside.